We'll call tonight's meeting to order. Roll call, please, Lisa. Mrs. Here. Ms. Burnett? Here. Ms. Lynch? Here. Ms. Burnett? 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 Here. Ms. Burnett
Okay, we will move on to the student representatives, and we have Meadville Area Senior High School. I don't see Pat Stevens, but I see Ryan Young. Good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> Meadville has been kind of busy this last month. We've had a lot going on. So first, I'll start with sports. The Bulldog basketball team has had a great start to their season. Both boys and girls have a winning record this year. Indoor track team is gearing up for their championship next month. The swim team is also doing well as the boys are five and two and the girls are one and six. Wrestling plays third in their home tool city tournament. There were three champs, Tommy Pollard, Vince Rinella, and Trent Tidball. The team is second in their district behind prep and they have a record of seven and three. We'd like to congratulate Trent Tidball on his 100th career win. We would like to wish all teams best of luck as they continue their winter season. For the band, marching band, mash appella, and mash drama traveled to Walt Disney World this past week. They performed at the Magic Kingdom, Disney Springs, and marched in the Disney Parade. Macy from mash appella said, it was a truly a magical experience. I was, am greatly thankful I was able to go. MASH also participated in its first ever MASH design review where two teams pitched innovative proposals. It was a challenge for them to create and solve real world problems with technology. The team called Medical Styles took first in their design of a wearable sleeve like device that monitors body temperature to help with patients with MS monitor pain. Long term custodian Dave Wheeler also won the Golden Apple Award and we would like to congratulate him for his service over the years at Mueller Senior High School. During Christmas time, Link Crew donated, no, not donated, decorated the halls with Christmas lights to help lift school spirit. NHS also won Battle of the Bells, which was ringing bells outside of Walmart to collect money for the Salvation Army. The doghouse in the school also hosted its first ever winter formal dance called Fire and Ice. Students enjoyed their time with refreshments, DJ, and photo booth. Also, the king and queen of the dance were chosen by teachers. It was school-based on their grades and involvement in the school. The doghouse students will now travel this week to elementary schools to recruit students for the coming year. Finally, student council is holding their spirit week this week with a different themed day each and every day. An assembly at the end of the week will conclude spirit week and recognize all winter sports I would like to thank you all tonight for your time. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, next is Cockrington Junior Senior High School and Kaylin Rose. Good evening. So it's a new year and we're busy as always at Cockrington High School. Under new head coach David Zamperini, our girls basketball team has a current record of 10 and seven overall and seven and five in the region. Our boys basketball team currently has a record of 3-11, and 11, and they just beat Maplewood on Friday night. For wrestling, <coughs> our boys have a team record of 3-5 and five overall and 2-4 and four in the region, and sophomore standout Jack Martinek, who wrestles at 120 pounds, has a personal record of 25-5. and five. Their senior night is tomorrow against Gerard. Our STEM Academy is running an after-school science camp right now for interested elementary school students. They are doing an egg drop physics experiment, learning how to code a spheral ball, dissecting a frog, and learning about a chemical reaction that can turn gummy worms into rocket fuel. Seniors in STEM Academy are also still doing their job shadows. We have seven students from Cochranton who are going to the Regional Academic Sports League meet at Edinburgh University on February 8th and 9th. Jesse McCullough, Sam Alt, and Lydia Wagner are all competing in honors. Joey Lipscomb, Rihanna Maloney, and Seth Arbuckle are competing in Scholastic, and Mackenzie Walters is competing as Varsity. Some of our upcoming school events are the American Heart Association fundraiser, and Student Council is doing a fundraiser for them, and our goal is to raise $450. We, also, we plan to do so by selling paper hearts at Senior Night Basketball Games, and students are allowed to pay to wear sweatpants on Fridays, and which, whichever homeroom raises the most money will get a prize. And next week is our Red and White Spirit Week. And some of our spirit days include Class Color Day, TikTok slash Meme Day, <coughs> Teacher and Student Switch, which is where the students get to wear, dress up as their favorite teacher. And teachers get a dress down day, and they get to make fun of the students' um, <laughs> styles. 
and as always, our red and white day on Friday. And our red and white basketball game is on Friday, February 7th against Union City, and our dance is the next Saturday. Thank you for your time and your support of our activities. Thanks, Kaylin. And Meadville Area Middle School, Peyton Costello and Cameron Guffey. Good evening. Uh, I'm Cammie Guffey. I'm Peyton Costello. I hope you've all had a great holiday season and a good new year. We'd like to say thank you to the new donation to the Caring Closet. It really means a lot. MAMS has recently gathered a group of kids to participate in a challenge for National Geographic. Our objective was to find a solution for plastics in our waterways. We also had to create a video to present our ideas. This project just finished, what, I think last week. Our beloved, our beloved community fair is coming up in February. Our marching band has also just got back from Disney because a few students from the middle school went there. Our winter sports are going very well. We have wrestling and boys basketball close to finishing up their seasons. There's a group of kids working on a project called What's So Cool About Manufacturing. Our task is to create a video about what is appealing to kids about manufacturing. Our final product is due to be submitted in the upcoming month. Thank you for your time. Thank you, girls. We will now move on to approval of minutes. Be it resolved that the Board of School Directors of Crawford Central School District hereby approves the following minutes. The regular board meeting of November 25th, 2019, reorganization meeting of December 3rd, 2019, and committee of the whole meeting of January 21st, 2020. And I need a motion. So moved. And second? Second. Thank you, Delwood. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. And we'll start uh, the committee reports with curriculum. Melissa Burnett. Approval of the one Federal Credit Union Student Branch Agreement for Second District Elementary School. Resolved that the Board of School Directors of Crawford Central School District hereby approves the one Federal Credit Union Student Branch Agreement for Second District Elementary School. You and a second? Second. Okay. Joe. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Paula Joe, extracurricular, please. Approval of the formation of the Pulsar Search Laboratory Club and the Caring Closet Club. Resolved that the Board of School Directors of Crawford Central School District hereby approves the Pulsar. Search Collaboratory Club and the Caring Closet Club at Meadville Area Senior High School at no cost to the district, and I so move. And a second? Second. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Approval of overnight field trips and events. Resolved the Board of School Directors of Crawford Central School District hereby approves the following field trips and events. Meadville Area Senior High School uh, Jazz Band to attend District Band in Bradford, Pennsylvania on February 6th to 8th, 2020 at a cost to the district of $1,998.40. Meadville Area Senior High School Choir to attend Region Chorus in Torrey, Pennsylvania on February 27th to the 29th, 2020 at a cost to the district of $2,013.40. Meadville Area Senior High School Band to attend Region Band in Indiana, Pennsylvania on March 25th and 27th, 2020 at a cost to the district of $1,972.60. Meadville Area Senior High School Innovation Class to travel to New York City on April 23rd, 26th, um, 20, in 2020 at a cost to the district not to exceed $1,000 and I so move. And in a second. Thank you. Uh, well, it was Kevin and... But Kevin, I think, got it in first. Um, questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Jeff Rose, finance, please. Resolved that the Board of School Directors of Crawford Central School District hereby approves the following financial activities. Uh, the Treasurer's Report for November and December of 2019, financial statements for November and December of 19, for December 19 and January of 2020. And there's many attachments there for you to see, and I so move. I need a second. Second. Thank you, Delwood. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 
Motion carries unanimously. Uh, this is for the payment of bills separately here for the payment of Girardi LP and I so move. I need, okay, thank you, Kevin. Uh, I need to abstain and move along with the members. Okay, <laughs> any other questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 The motion carries with eight and one abstention. These next two motions have to do with a uh, LERTA tax ab uh, abatement um, law or, or uh, yeah, just, it was statute, I guess, and I was going to ask if maybe, rather sure. than me reading all this, if it would be better if you... Sure, I'll, 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 yeah, I don't think it's necessary short. to read all this, so I'll just give a brief summation of what this is. So the Borough of Cochranton has approved uh, LERTA tax exemptions for deteriorated property uh, within the entirety of the borough's deteriorated area. Um, so the school district is now taking up this resolution to approve those ordinances and to allow uh, tax exemptions for certain uh, entities that are, you know, making these, returning these properties to the tax rolls. So the under the ordinance, the entirety of the borough is uh, designated as a deteriorated area, um, and the school district has to approve that deteriorated area um, in the within within the same uh, area as the borough did, so we can't make it smaller or bigger. It has to be the, exactly the same. And this came to uh, the the school board's attention because Adams Place is is being developed. It's in returning to uh, the roles uh, of taxation fairly soon. So we need to adopt both the ordinance and then approve their alert request um, if the board wills it, wills wishes to do so. So. That's the, the short and sweet version of the ordinances or the resolutions we have here. So, so if you're following along on your uh, agenda there, I'm going to assume that those were all the whereases, and I'm going to the now therefore be it resolved by the Board of School Directors of the Crawford Central School District as follows. That the school district hereby approves and adopts ordinance number 2-1989 and ordinance number 8-1992 of the borough as attached here to as exhibit A and exhibit B. And the school district hereby approves the deteriorated area in which the LERTA applies to be the entire corporate limits of the borough and three that this resolution shall take effect immediately and I so move. So we're, but we're just, the first motion is on just the yes. first, okay. All right, and then I need a second. Second. Mm-hmm. Questions or comments? I have a couple of comments. <clears throat> I think this is sort of a signature vote. And it's every time I come into town, I drive past um, Vantage over there. And also this weekend, drove up past Pine Street, the old Talon property, and I believe by any other name, it was Alerta that we granted to these two. And look what's coming there. I think it signals to anyone who might have any idea of coming into the district that we will work with them, for them. And the county has already <clears throat> voted for this Alerta, as well as the borough. The only vote I can give on this is yes, and anybody else that comes in in Meadville, Cochranton, or any place in between, you will get my yes vote. So. Any other comments? Yeah. I'm in favor of alertas, but I think there's a certain way that you do them. Alerta is a ordinance which is meant to give an incentive to a municipality uh, to for business to go to a municipality and to develop blighted property and so part of the or part of the process of passing alerta is for the, um, the the municipality to go through public hearings and to determine what areas are blighted or deteriorated as according to law and there's really a, a fair amount of law on this. Um, this was passed by Cochranton in 1989. They do have a reference to a public hearing. It looks to me like they intended to have a public hearing. And I, I don't know, maybe they had a public hearing or maybe they didn't, but I simply do not believe that the entire Cochranton borough is deteriorated and blighted. 
I think that if we're going to pass a LERDA, that's great. I'm all in favor of LERDAs. And Frank, you're right. We did pass uh, something very similar to a LERDA um, that I recall, and that was Vantage. I wasn't a part of the other one, I don't think. But that was for a very specific area. It actually um, drew a boundary around the area and said this is property which, re which is going to benefit from development. And yes, it put it under the tax rolls and we benefit in the long run. But I don't think that means that you say the entire school district, the entire city of Meadville, the entire city uh, borough of Cochranton. I think what you do is you figure out what are the areas that require this kind of remediation and then you invite it. And I don't, I, I, so I think we're taking this a little backwards. I also am very concerned about the fact that we haven't had public hearings on this. Now I know that that's a requirement of municipalities, and I'm not sure that it's re a requirement of the taxing authority, but we are joining in on their ordinance. And I don't, you know, we're joining in on something that was determined in 1989, and I don't have any idea what occurred with regard to input, whether this was a blighted or deteriorated area. I understand, uh, you're not required as the local taxing authority to hold a public hearing. It's only the municipal governing body that is that is required under 4725 of the Alert Act. So while you certainly could have a public hearing if that's the, you know, the, uh, the objective of the board, it's not required in the Alert Act. So just do right. that. Right. And, and so the, my concern is this. I, I want everyone to be clear on this. Um, somebody fills out a form and says, we are a uh, commercial, industrial, um, uh, um, uh, project, and we are improving property within the designated deteriorated area, and so they submit the form, and that's pretty much the requirements. That means anybody who's doing a commercial development uh, within the area gets the, the tax abatement, and it's not necessarily meeting the requirements that are, that are part of the LERD process. Um, I mean, that's great. Everybody wants to pay taxes or pay less taxes, and I know that um, we all want to attract business, but we also have to remember that we're not, we're not adjusting our budget. <coughs> we're not adjusting our budget. Our budget isn't going down. So we're still spending as much money, but we are bringing in a little less tax because of this abatement, so really it's that the tax falls on other people's shoulders. And I don't know that that's a fair way to do it. If you're going to do it, great. But I, I say, let's make sure that it is associated with deteriorated and blighted properties. I'd like us to step back on this and go a little slower. I know that we want to do this for McAdams, or, or excuse me, Adams. I know that we want to do this for Adams uh, Place. And I'm a little afraid that because of that, we're rushing this through. That's, those are my comments. Anybody else? I do. Um, number one, as far as us bringing in less tax, I don't. I don't believe we're bringing in much on the property right now. So it's it's not as if that money is already in the budget. Guy. Say, I mean, it's it's a, it is a deteriorated property that we're not. I mean, and you probably haven't looked it up, but yeah, I, I can't it, answer that question without. There's no buildings on it. So I mean. It can't be bringing in any, t hardly any tax money right now. Uh, it will in the future and a lot more after it's improved. Secondly, as far as the whole area of Cochranham being designated as a bladed area, it was explained to us at our last meeting that basically it's too small to be divided. Yeah, essentially. As, as a borough, I mean, parts of Erie have been designated, but probably parts that are bigger than the borough of Cochranton. I mean, I think that you could. Historically, they could have designated any area, but you know it is a small enough borough that there's probably you know there's probably some justification for designating the whole borough in the past. Again, I can't speak historically. I haven't looked through the minutes in 1989, um, but it is a small enough area that it is feasible to designate the whole area as deteriorated, um, given the size of the borough overall, as opposed to uh, you know a large third class city like the city of Erie. So. And just filling out the application doesn't mean you get the LERDA. The commissioners have to approve. Yeah, it is. It's and they have skin in the game as far as taxes go as well. So it is sent to the assessment office for, for essentially a, a, a determination on the property and an assessment that is then conducted after uh, the, the building is constructed or the facilities are constructed. So. 
So, uh, and I'm sorry, I want to jump in right there. So what you're saying is that the review is by the assessment office? Yes, under, under 4727 of the LERDA mm -hmm. Act, we essentially act, we receive the request, so does the borough, and then it goes to the county for uh, a determination and assessment at that time. If we want to challenge the assessment after the fact, we then have to file a legal action, um, essentially challenging the assessment and the potential exemption. Am I correct to say that the assessment office basically wants to make sure that they've got the current value of the property so that they can compare it to the future value of the property when they're doing the tax abatement yeah, correct. calculations? Correct. Okay. And, and then the commissioners take that information and decide whether to grant it or yes. not. Yes. I mean, the commissioners have to approve it essentially the same way we do. Um, but they, uh, they act as the final, uh, they act as the final body basically, gr you know, granting the exemption, uh, approving the assessment after the fact. So. About that. So it says in number 4727, appeals from the re the reassessment of the el amount eligible for the exemption may be taken by the taxpayer or the local taxing authorities as provided by law. So the local taxing authorities essentially, we send it on to the county, and if, if, if the county renders some of it exempt and some of it not, we can appeal that. Um, but they do have to take action on it eventually. Uh, at, the, at the commissioner's level. Well, giving Mr. Prather is due, but I believe we'll have another one here in Meadville very shortly. And sometimes you just plain have to put a little faith in the people that are planning these things and the people that are moving in. And if no risk, no gain, and Meadville is hardly, or Cochranton or Crawford County, a booming place anymore. And me, what signal are, am I sending with a no vote? And that's why my votes, it's pretty simple from my point of view. Mr. Prather's got a lot more <laughs> on the side here, which is all legal and as it should be, but. Well, I'd like to, I want to be clear. I would have the exact same concerns if we were going to pass a alert that um, covered the entire city of Meadville. I don't believe, I believe that there are parts of Meadville uh, that are uh, appropriate for uh, alert of tax abatements. And I actually think that the property that Adams Place is going on to uh, is, is probably appropriate for um, tax abatement. I just am extremely reticent to, to join into a LERDA that declares the entire borough of Cochranton as a, uh, a blighted area. I am extremely reticent to do that. In fact, I'm not going to do it. Anybody else? I'm just going to piggyback on, I have nothing more to say because I think Ross has adequately said it all, but I agree with Ross. If it was just one and we could take them one at a time and review each one independently, I would not feel as um, concerned. Anybody else? Okay. I agree with you, Jared. I feel the same way. I, I agree that Adam Space is a is a is a wonderful project. We need senior living. But the whole community, the whole girl, I just think that we're getting ourselves digging ourselves in. Um, I I don't think I could vote yes for for that reason. Now that, now that I fully understand. Okay, well, I do believe we have a first and a second. If there are no other comments, then we'll take it to vote. Um, all in favor? We should probably do a roll call. Want to yeah. do a roll oh, call? Yes. All right. Lisa? Mrs. Blippa? No. Ms. Burnett? No. Ms. Lynch? No. Mr. Merrick? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Prather? No. Mr. Rose? Yes. Mr. Shrek? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. <clears throat> so motion carries five to four.
12 that the Board of School Directors of Crawford Central School District hereby approves the forwarding of the Adams, Pl Adams Place Lerder request to the Tax Assessment Office of Crawford County as required under the Local Economic Re Revitalization Act, Tax Assistance Act 72 PS 4727, and I so move. And I need a second. Second. Kevin? Questions or comments? Uh, maybe we better take another roll call. Yes. Lisa? No. Ms. Burnett? No. <coughs> Ms. Lynch? No. Mr. Merrick? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Prather? Yes. Mr. Rose? Yes. Mr. Shrek? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. The motion carries six to three, was it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Resolved that pursuant to Act 32 of 2008, the Board of School Directors of Crawford Central School District hereby appoints Guy W. O'Neill, business manager, as the Tax Collection Committee primary voting delegate for the Crawford Central School District, and further resolved that the Board of School Directors reappoints Phyllis Lord, assistance, assistant business director, as the Tax Collection Committee alternate voting delegate for the Crawford Central School District, and further resolved that the primary voting delegate cannot attend a tax collection meeting tax collection committee meeting, then the alternate voting delegate shall attend the tax collection committee meeting. The reappointment of Mr. O'Neill and Mrs. Lord as delegates are effective immediately and shall continue until their successors are appointed. Delegates, delegates shall be appointed or reappointed by the board each year. All delegates shall serve at the pleasure of the board, and I so move. And I need a second. Second. Mike Delwin. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Resolved that the Board of School Directors of the Crawford Central School District hereby approves Schedule L budgetary transfers, and I so move. And I need a second. Second. Okay, thank you. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Personnel and, and policy. First, there's just an acknowledgement of the professional uh, employee status under terms of Section 1108 of the school code. The superintendent has notified the secretary of the board that Richard K. Grubbs has received a satisfactory rating for his sixth semester of employment and has thereby gained the status of professional employee and will be tendered a professional employee contract beginning with the second semester of the 2019-2020 school year. Be it resolved that the Board of School Directors of Crawford Central School District hereby approves the stipulation involving student A. And I need a motion. So moved. Jeff? Second? Paula? Paula. Okay. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Motion carries eight to one. Be it resolved that the Board of School Directors of Crawford Central School District hereby approves the following personnel schedules. Schedule A, C, D, E, G, H, I, and M. And I need a motion. So moved. Second. Melissa, who seconded? Kevin? Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. At this point, I'll turn it over to Mr. Washington. Uh, thank you, Madam President. I just want to say that January is designated as School Director Recognition Month, and at this time of the year, we celebrate and recognize our school directors for all of the vital work that they do for on behalf of our students, our schools, and our families. So tonight, you found you have, should have found a certificate that says thank you for your services, and I just want to say to you all, thank you. Frank, I just want to say thank you for all the work you've done for the Caring Closet. I just wanted to um, say thank you. You have been a person that has done diligent work for the Caring Closet for <laughs> the years that I've been here, so I want to say thank you. That's all I have, Madam President. All right. Any public comment? Any board comments? Uh, I'll work at this. Ross may help me out again. Uh, the entire family supports the caring closet. The Shreks and Mutas have all gone together. So, match it. Both Carpenter and Meadville and the Crawford Central Community Foundation. So, 
I thank you and Mr. Prather. Thank you for oh, the sure. help. <laughs> you did pretty good without any good. warning. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? All right. Then be it resolved that there's being no further business. The meeting is adjourned at 6.05 p.m. and I need a motion. Okay, Melissa, second? Kevin? Hey. Kevin. All in favor? To new voices. <laughs> Aye. Opposed? <laughs> meeting is adjourned. <laughs>